who is the greatest comedian of all time? Well, this is always where it gets a little dicey because I think I think George Carlin is the best comedian of all time, but I think Richard Pryor is the funniest comedian of all time. I'll explain. Carlin has some of the best jokes, greatest insights. You know, he he can do puns, he can do stories, he can do uh, jokey jokes, he can do dirty, he can do clean, he can do philosophical, he can do social commentary. He's got every genre covered. He's got it all. But then Richard Pryor is just, you know, flat out hilarious, just like a funny guy. Like you put, if you put George Carlin and Richard Pryor on a couch on Johnny Carson, Pryor's going to shine way, way more. Probably a bad choice of words there. But he's going to really, you know, look great. And Carlin's just going to sit there because Carlin was more of a writer. He's more of a, a mind, a mental guy. You know, he's, he's a thinker. But uh, Pryor's just, his jokes and his set is just hilarious. It's, I mean, uh, oh, I, I could go into his whole act, but uh, that live in concert is probably the best special of all time. The best he did was that Redbone character. Oh, I hated the Redbone. Mudbone. Oh, really? Mudbone. Oh, I loved it. Uh the live at the Sunset Strip or whatever. That's a oh, I love that act. Really? I mean, I get it. I guess I guess I never knew that guy, so I I always hated that part. I was like, oh, come on, get back to the jokes. But I get it. It was just it wasn't for me. But I think it was Mudbone, was it not? Was it one bone or red bone? Yeah, it could have been Mudbone. I you know there was a bone in there. It's definitely a big bone. I got a bone in me. But yeah, uh, I think Carlin's the best because he. And not to mention, he did fucking 14 specials, and there's a lot of bad in there, but there's a lot of amazing, amazing stuff. And Yeah, I've seen Carlin bomb. Oh, yeah, I've seen him bomb, too. Where'd you see him? No, I've never seen him. I've seen him bomb on television, though, on some of his shows. Some of his older stuff I thought was a bit weaker. Oh, for sure. Yeah, all that hippy-dippy weatherman. I, I wasn't crazy about all that. When he kind of did the... Yeah, that stuff. Uh, yeah, that was yeah. corny. Hey, was this TV. is the weatherman. Yeah. yeah, that act. I didn't like that one. I didn't like all that either. And that's the problem is a lot of people, they check out George Carlin, they see that shit, and they go, oh, this guy stinks. He's one of the best. What the hell? But then uh, you got you to gotta get into the later stuff. Like that, he, in the 90s, I feel like he was really killing it. Yeah, he peaked in the 90s, absolutely. And then, actually, I'll even say his last special, when his face started getting a bit pudgier, you know? Uh-huh. And he, he'd kind of lost his timing just a bit. Yeah, still good, but yeah. I agree. 